<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Welterweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Jury. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 16 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie. in your dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official.
All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That's the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on. Oh! Uppercut lands now. That one landed clean. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Side control now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. These guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, so another. Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, big punch land. The Superman punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss. Oh! Oh, he got him hurt. Back. He's got him hurt here. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glenn. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jury! And new UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion.